Hi friends. So, here's the thing. If you are new to my channel, which I do have a lot of new followers, and a lot of you came from Hawaii videos, and the video of Ashley having possible appendicitis, and Jason's dishwasher video. I don't know, so random where you guys are all coming from. Leave a comment down below where you did find our channel from, because I'm very curious what is feeding this channel to people out there in like YouTube land. But if you are new, you might not know um, that I am kind of obsessed with organization and having things that make things easier and things that are packaged. And anyway, my desk here, I'll give you a little pre-tour of my office. This is my office slash craft room. This is how organized I like my life in general. <laughs> Um, I perused office supplies online on Amazon the other night and I just got some new ideas. So I'm gonna redo my whole office little desk area right here and kind of clean it up, make it a little bit more fresh. It's a thing, I like to have things fresh. It's springtime, it's not raining today, the sun is shining. I'm gonna open my window and I'm gonna start cleaning. So let me take you on a tour of the mess and what I wanna change and then I'm gonna show you kind of the new office supplies that I got and then we're gonna dive in. We're just literally gonna open the window, get the room cooled off and dive in. I still have three kids home from school. They don't go to school quite yet because um, they have late start today so you might see them coming in and out and getting their backpacks and whatnot but we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna start focusing on this and get going for the day because I do have a full day today. So <laughs> we're just gonna start going on this. Okay, you might think it's odd to start down here. Um, I don't like anything underneath my desk. I need to clean up that garbage down there. But my feet, I'm kind of a texture person and I like to have my feet cozy. So I literally keep this blanket underneath my desk to wrap my feet in. Like I love it so much. If anyone takes this blanket and puts it on the couch, I get very angry. I love this blanket right underneath my desk. So that stays there. All right, so let's start on the desk right here. Like I said, not much needs to be changed or organization wise like I don't need to sort through this it's already pretty organized same with all of my notebooks if you are new here I am obsessed with having notebooks I have one for different sections of my life these three are being not four these are all in use and these are all brand new so I have an obsession with these notebooks and I get worried when I can't find more at the store to make sure I have backups <laughs> so that's where I'm going later today is to keep checking they haven't had any so we're gonna keep checking but then I've come over here to like my pen and my markers, my Sharpies, my pencils. These are all my stickers for my notebook. As you can see, I like to decorate my notebook. This is my YouTube calendar. This is how I schedule all of my YouTube videos and keep organized with my checklists. And then over here, I have my washi tape. This is all for my notebook. I have started to use it to like make cards and stuff. It's kind of fun to have easy access to it. And I've got some tissues. I actually have my first PR package sent to me. <laughs> I've never done my brows in my life, but if I want to stamp them with the perfect eyebrows in second, I guess now I can. So that's kind of fun. It's from iMethod, I in case they are watching this. iMethod Beauty, I don't know. <laughs> It's still kind of cool to get my first one. Then I have my flowers. I like my flowers to be here, not only to look at myself, but it uh, is a great backdrop when I'm filming videos. So I always like to have that. I have all my lotions and my pineapple pina colada candle. I have my water that's always right here and I have another water cup back there. This right here, this is what's going to change. This always spins around and gets stuck on the flowers. Things fall off these little hooks. So all of this is going to change, like all of that. Then I have a picture for of us in Maui last year, my, one of my favorites. I'm going to do the, the parrots again. I think this is gonna be a fun photo to recreate as the kids get older and I wish I had it when they were even younger, but that was a favorite of mine. But it always gets hidden when <laughs> I have my computer up. And yes, I do have two computers. I have a laptop here and then I have my desktop. And then I've just got regular keyboard stuff. And then moving over here, this is the kids corner, what we kind of deem it as, a little contract that Ashley signed for me in order to get something from Amazon. On. She's paying for it, but she had to kind of pay for it in advance, or she had to kind of take out a little loan in order to get it. So that's why that's kind of hung up invisible. Otherwise, it's kind of cute in that shelf area. But I do need to straighten up the kids' corner. Normally, I wait for them to do it themselves, but I do want this to be kind of clean by the time I get this whole thing done. So I'm giving them a, a little free ticket on this one. And then to this. This is what I've gotten from Amazon. Also, I literally ordered HP ink. Does that say a HP, this is not name brand, and I paid for name brand, and I'm so angry. 
it works and it's fine. But like I paid for name brand. So we'll talk about what's in here here in a second. Then we've got the Oculus. We just barely got this. We surprised the kids. They knew we were going to get it. They chose to get it and kind of get less birthday presents this year because they are really enjoying playing the Oculus as a family. And then I have a new little charging station for everyone to use instead of coming over to my desk to charge. And I just have extra cords. This is for the Oculus. Then if they have like a, they want to charge a phone or an AirPods or whatever, they can use that little plug. And then my camera batteries always need to charge and I just keep it here. So this is kind of Jason's desk area as well, but he doesn't use it very much. And so it's really helpful to have the charging unit here. Then I have my wrapping paper bin. I just decided it was easier to keep it here rather than try and like keep it in the garage because we, like I, you can see, Jason wraps packages all the time for business. And so it just is handy to have it here in the office. And just in case you are new, this is my organization wall. These are all my craft bins, but they're also like regular things. I've got the laminator in here and I've got silhouette and yarn and twine, but I've also got like old photos, batteries and candles. So you name it, you can find it here in one of my craft bins, but we aren't gonna kind of dive into that kind of stuff today because it's pretty organized. All right, first let's talk about what I got from Amazon. I got some post-it notes and I don't actually need the post-its itself, but I need the container because you look here in my drawer. These, I have a whole stack of them. So you don't need any new post-its, but every time I open and shut this drawer, watch. They all just fall down and they're constantly, I'm just, I'm a neat person and I can't handle the fact that they fall down. <laughs> like I just can't handle that. So I wanted to get something that they were, and I also like get frustrated that they, I can't like, you know, pull it up and just get one really quick. So I got this little post-it dispenser in order to like them organized, but also to be able to like pull them out easier. Then I got, I don't know why I've never thought to do refills, but these are my favorite pens, the G2 Fine pens. And I just decided to do the refills because it was silly to buy the whole new pen every single time. This is my favorite pen of all times. So I got a whole bunch of refills and hopefully the pen itself will <laughs> hold up. So I will put all of these in my office supply bucket and just keep them for when I need to use them. Wow, there's a lot of them in here. There's a lot. Each pack came with two and it said that eh, that's a lot of them. Okay, so I've got one out. I know the one I'm using right now is almost gone, but we're gonna put this right away because what I've learned is that if I don't just take care of it in the moment, it's just gonna sit here on my desk. Okay, so I find my office supply bucket. So you do have pens in here, but not my favorite ones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slip this guy in there. Since they're all contained in that box, I can just slip it in there and not worry about it. Done. Okay, the next thing is the ink. We have replaced the ink already and these are just backups so I can put these in the drawer. Okay, let's see if I have room for them in my drawer. Okay, let's see what's back here. I would like them to all go back in here. Ooh, they can't double stack. Okay, I ran and grabbed one of these. I had one on the counter from another thing that I cleaned out. Let's do this instead. And obviously that's really gross. We're gonna dump that out. These guys in there, that goes here. Okay, so now I can't do that that way, but we can stack them back in the back. So we're gonna do that. Okay, see, much better. Now I've got all the ink back in there, two layers deep. So then this whole area here is all clean. I love that. I just put some paperwork over here. I need to like kind of clean up this a little bit, but I, right now it's okay. But now I've got all of my little sticky notes out and I can put this in. Sorry, we're, we haven't really like talked about what's in there. We're just gonna keep going. We're on a roll. I have like just two little sets that have a little bit of paper left in them. So I stuck those in there. You see now I can just pull that up and then I have some extra ones that we can tuck away. I'd actually like try and get them to fit in where they won't keep sliding around. So we'll figure that out because they won't fit. Maybe they'll fit underneath it. Maybe that will still shut, which will be nice because then they can't roll around. Okay, I'm gonna do that. See if that still works. Okay, will that work? Okay, that works. And then it's like ready for me to grab. That's perfect. Okay, next up, I got some file folders that are vertical. I like them to stand up sometimes. So I got them to go this way because I need, I just, I don't know, sometimes I like them to be vertical. So when there's papers on my desk, I only need like one or two now, but like this, like this is stuff I currently need to work on. Like I need to work on that one, but I don't want it to get tucked in and like have it completely like, you know, tucked away because I need to work on it. Like this, this is my credit card bill, so you can't see it. <laughs> But I, you know, I need to finish it. I need to finish working on it before um, I tuck it away and file it. But I, this is kind of like my to-do and keep the papers organized like that. So I have a finance one and then like a kids to-do sign, sign up kind of thing. 
like that, stuck on the button. Hang on. Okay, we're gonna put it behind it so it doesn't get stuck on that button. And I actually could probably just store the rest of these back here. Okay, perfect. So then I know that I've got like a little school one and credit card one. I can pull that out and work on it when I need to. I might actually put little tabs on the sides so that I know what's in the folders. I have them right here. I just need to find a plain one times two. There's another cute one right there. Okay, so I've got two little tabs I can put onto the sides of those. And that way I can like, see, I can just stick it on the side here. And that way I'll know like what's in each folder. I might get ones that match the folder, but you get the idea. Then I can just get them and pull them out and finish it. And then I file it here or in our other filing box. Okay, so over here, I've got this cute little notebook. This is the same company that I get my bigger notebooks from. And I tried to order some more online because I'm just not finding them at the store. But I did find this guy. It's a little mini one. You know, I like my little mini books now. But I find that every once in a while, I like to plan things like a week in advance. So this is like a section with like daily plans. And sometimes I need to really like schedule out my day by hour. And even though I do it on my calendar, sometimes I really need to see it like in front of me and then like a to-do list. List, and this is like all done for me. So I really like that. And so I just wanted to like have something like that where I could use it in place of like my phone or in place of my big notebook and I can take this one with me or just kind of have it out and about. So I do like that guy. All right. So this guy and this guy, I have to build. <laughs> it's kind of like Ikea. So I have to kind of put these together, but these are two different shelves that I'm going to put here at my desk. So I do need to build them, but part of that will be that I need to clean this entire section off in order to like put it all back together. And, and you'll see here in a second. So we're gonna start cleaning things up. I've already started making more of a mess over here. So we're gonna clean up this area here and get that all straightened up. And then I'm gonna take all of this stuff out over here and wipe it all down and then we're going to build these two shelving units and then put them in place. Okay, that area is all cleaned up. I'm gonna keep this here because it's a constant thing for her. But we put a little rainbow there. She just needs to be able to paint that. She's saving it for a fun rainy day when she needs something to do. But I organized her area so that we can do quick cleanup. You guys, my time lapse was four minutes. <laughs> and then I had to cut up her little multiplication cards and put them into a little bag so we can sit here at my desk and work on those. But I organized it so that we could clean it up really quick even after she has fun using this area. So we're gonna shift over to here and take it all apart. <laughs> hasn't been cleaned off like this in so long. Yes, I did kind of make a mess just chunking stuff down here, but I'm gonna sort through this stuff, see what I need to keep, see what I can reorganize, and then we're gonna put together these two shelves and put them in place. that out right now. Maybe I can use this at like my makeup table. Hmm, there's a thought. Now I have to sort through all this stuff. Okay, got both of my shelves built. Actually, this one came already done. So this is my stand for my computer. So I already kind of put that into place. And then I'm gonna put the other shelf over there. And what's interesting is that they're like detached. <laughs> They don't come like where you attach them together. But I like that because then I can determine like how far apart I want them to be. I actually want them like that full length. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna fit that in there. So I normally like a kind of a corner unit. I might kind of play with this because I'm not used to all that bare space. 
But I also have like this to go in here. So I'm gonna have to like zhuzh this a little bit because that's that's not gonna quite work out. So let me play around with it, see what I can do. Okay, kind of zhuzh the plants just a little bit. And I've got this in the corner here. I really like that. I don't know, maybe I like shift everything, but I think the idea was to kind of open it up. So I'm gonna get my computer back into place, the picture frame, maybe the picture frame can kind of go right there. Let's just kind of see how this kind of plays out. All right, give you a little uh, anticipation. It's all done. You guys ready? Look how nice it looks. Ignore outside. <laughs> the window open it's hot in here but look how nice it looks I love it I love that little shelf it actually has a perfect spot for my washi tape container it goes in there this is actually a candle these are rocks that we collected from well we won't say where because I know it's bad juju to bring them home but they were heart shaped so I couldn't resist and I was able to pull this little container out of the woodworks and put my little rocks in there and have my chapstick close by I've been starting to wear bracelets more often especially on warm days and then I have that frame that we got in Maui when Jason and I went and I finally got a picture printed out and put into that. I need a third element. If you guys know when you decorate you do it in odd numbers. I, I need something else to go right here and that's not quite enough. So I need to figure something out, out that can go there but I've got all that stuff in here. This is a little box I pulled from my other shelf and it has all my thank you cards in it. I do like to like keep cards from people and that way I can kind of display them. It's kind of cute. So anyway I've already explained what everything else is technically I just wanted to show you what the look is and I'm so excited this little shelf here for my computer is nice because it has little drawers in it and I can put cords in it when I'm not using them but I do want to try and see if I can get little poles that can be put on there and make it easier to pull out I don't know it's kind of plain to me is it you guys look how cute it is I am so excited to sit down at my desk and work on some work and enjoy my view it's gonna be so fun to have a clean fresh desk I'm even ready to have my breakfast I've got my granola and my blueberries I'm all set to sit down at my desk it is so important to make your space clean and organized and somewhere that you want to go whether it's your desk or your room or your counter and your kitchen like if you feel good at that space you're gonna want to go back to it and you're gonna get things done and you're gonna feel happy so while it seems kind of silly that I get so excited about organized bases I'm more productive when things are clean and neat and I know where things are and it makes me happy so do what makes you happy leave a comment down below if you have a desk space that you need to kind of redo and let me know if you need some encouragement or ideas um, if you want to even send me photos and I can kind of talk you through it of what you might be able to do you can send me an Instagram DM it's at the same Dana creates over on Instagram um, same name is here on YouTube but thank you for watching you guys I'm gonna end this video and go get to work because I mean it's a cute space who wouldn't want to go and work in it so take care and we'll see you guys next time bye